Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you how to prepare your burette with sodium hydroxide for today's Chem 130 lab, which is the titration of vinegar and sodium hydroxide. So you're gonna go get a burette. Now we don't know what's been in this burette, so we need to rinse it with distilled water. So I'm gonna turn on the black knob Put a little bit of distilled water in my burette. I don't need to fill it all the way up. I'm going to turn it sideways and roll it around. Let the inside coat with the water. I'm going to open it up. Let it come out this tip. When it's up this way, vertical, it's open. I'm going to close it. That's when it's going sideways. I'm going to turn it upside down. Let the rest of the water come out. Now the inside of my burette is coated with distilled water and I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to clamp it in the burette clamp. Be careful because if you break this, you bought it. So be very careful. Now I need to rinse the inside of sodium hydroxide. So I'm going to grab my funnel, put it on top and I have some sodium hydroxide. Careful with this. It's a base. It's a strong base that I have already collected and I'm going to pour a little bit in here. Again, not too much. You don't need to fill it up all the way. Take the funnel off. And now we're gonna go back to the sink because we're rinsing it with sodium hydroxide. And we're gonna hold it sideways and roll it around and let it come out through the tip. And that's good. Turn it upside down, open it up and let it come all the way out. Now it's empty. So now my burette has been coated with sodium hydroxide and I'm ready to fill it up. So we're gonna clamp it one more time. Make sure it's secure, make sure it's closed. Grab our funnel and the sodium hydroxide. Pour slowly so you don't overfill it. And we're gonna fill up to the top close to zero or one-ish. Then we're gonna take our waste beaker, waste beaker, put it underneath the burette, lower the burette down. And we're gonna lower it to close to three. You don't need to get it exactly on three, but somewhere around two to three. That's to get the air bubble out of the tip. So I've got the air bubble out of the tip. I'm around two and a half, good enough. Now I'm gonna take my initial burette reading and it needs to be to two decimal places. So mine is at 2.123, about two, 2.32. So we're gonna start somewhere around two to three, record it exactly. That's our initial volume and our burette is ready to go. Okay.